Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Hive Swap. Last we left off, we had a couple of encounters with these strange monster creatures that have suddenly decided to attack the house. Oh, by the way, I didn't see this for some reason before. This, uh, whatever this is, depicts some heroes conversing with huge monsters. Do the monsters help them? Kill them? You prefer to imagine everyone gets out okay, but you know life is rarely that kind. Oh my god, it's a fucking reference to Undertale, isn't it? Oh my god. You, uh, you got nothing. You feel unqualified to comment. Okay. Alright, well, we were looking at an antler. So let's pull on that antler. Whoa, that sure did something. Jude, I can't make heads or tails of this thing. What thing? Over. I turned on a laser, but that's it? Nothing else is happening. Thought you were Puzzle Master. What, what was wrong, it seems, over. Hold on, over. Believe this calls for... Burns. McGruff Crime Dog experiences trouble? Unbelievable, over. Wait. Disregard previous burn. Superior burn formulated. Ace Ventura Pet Detective. Please respond if ice required, over. <laughs> pretty good burn. Okay, that's a pretty good burn. That was solid, you nailed me. Forgive if boundary overstepped. Have been informed mildly contentious banter cornerstone of quad squad camaraderie. Over. Yeah, it's fine. Anyway, how am I supposed to solve this thing? This is clearly a puzzle. Th this is clearly a puzzle thing that cries out to be solved. Use marbles. Over. I'm thinking as hard as I can. You know I like puzzles. I wouldn't be asking if it weren't an emergency. Actual marbles. Over. What are you talking about? Trivial, really. Over. What marbles? I don't have any marbles. You don't? None nearby? Over. No! Oops. Over. You are now Jude Harley. And though tonight is apparently the night you've been preparing for, Laying so many preparations and countermeasures and countermeasures, counter countermeasures against. It would seem that you made a rare tactical blunder. The marbles that Joey needs to disengage your strategic defense globe are here in your treehouse. Time to call in the lone gunbirds. When the heat is on for the government and you need to send an encrypted message while staying off the grid, you entrust it to one of your trained carrier pigeons. The lone gunbirds. You survey the troops. There's Langley, Byers, and of course Frohike. He's your favorite. Ah, oh, dear sweet Frohike. How you adore him. You cherish the wind he flaps. Hmm. This is the puzzle in question that we need reference for. This is obviously what was meant to happen. We've got the deer on the one side and the marbles, I guess, going to be planted in the eye of the thing that Joey wanted to put the things into the eyes, and it involves the globe, so this is probably important. You've already committed this the crucial intelligence to memory, but as a truly great field commander keeps even better records. <clears throat> Alright. Tactical error. Consolidated all marbles here in Treehouse to prevent Attic Key from falling into wrong hands. Over. Additionally, forgot about doing that. Over. No cause for concern putting top agent on it. Over. Wait, who... Did you get in touch with any of your friends, or... Oh, God. You mean one of your pigeons, don't you? Over and out. <laughs> Let's see. Let's take a little poke around here. Only a few of these are actually liquids, and unfortunately those are also the ones whose contents you don't precisely exactly 100% remember with total certainty. You're not saying some of them are urine, but you're not saying none of them are urine. Oh boy. You keep smashing geodes in case they're secretly alien eggs. And if one is, well, you'll already have the hammer in your hand, won't you? Might be time to scan the airwaves again, see if you can pick up any chatter from the enemy. Hmm. You turn on the radio. I'm not picking up anything. You've heard enough of that weird signal for now. Forever, really. Okay. Huh. 
This thing. Talk about an enigma. One day you'll figure out what it does and why certain shady characters want to get their hands on it so badly. You have some theories, of course. Interesting. President Clinton gives birth to Bigfoot. Batboy spotted at Bar Mitzvah. Let's see. Your copious notes on disreputable activities carried out by members of what you can only describe as some sort of cult. You've been surreptitiously gathering uh, intelligence on them for a good while. You've detailed some of the stuff on your sites, but the really juicy stuff has to stay off the grid. A term you just coined yourself just now. Uh-huh. Okay. Hmm. Interessante. So, we've gotten a pretty good glimpse at uh, who Jude is. You're probably the only kid at school that owns one of these babies. One of those kids got stranded in the middle of an ocean. The joke's on them until they starve and die. Alright. Equip. The chamber is empty because you observe proper, proper flare gun safety protocols, but maybe you should load it because you've also observed some scary stuff this evening. Good idea. Let's see. Well, look at these monsters. No eyes, no weapons, only the most rudimentary of squad-based tactical maneuvers. This is a diversionary feint by an expendable vanguard if you've ever seen one. Hmm. The puppy castle seems fortified for the moment. You and that pup spent some, some time adding extra defensing implements this summer. They're holding up nicely. Okay. There she, there she blows, Harley Manor. Well, maybe only half Harley Manor, since Joey disowned the name in favor of your mother's. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Your tactical escape hatch allows ingress and egress from your amazing treehouse. Basically, you can leave from here. Your careful records of the activity of the mysterious figures you often see prowling around the woods. Joey didn't buy it, of course, but the sudden influx of monsters may have changed their stance. Hmm. Twelve U.S. Congress members suspected of cult activity. Hmm. Well. The perfect place to store your flares. Well, some of them. It's also where you keep your beeper, but you really don't want to get into that right now. Okay. You retrieve the cache of flares you were keeping in your metal chest. Combined with your flare gun, they're a tactical treasure. So, funny story. I've actually played through this game once before, partly how I know what to do and all of that fun stuff. When I opened that box, for whatever reason, okay. Breath held, hand steady, you carefully load the flares into the flare gun. There's no going back now. The genie is out of the bottle. Um, it opened up the thing next to the box, for whatever reason. And, uh, yeah, you already got the flares out of there. And it completely disrupted my ability to complete this next puzzle. What it wants me to do, however, was to open this drawer, but this opened up partially while also maintaining the last screen, so all I got was a view that cut off down here in the middle so that all I could access were the red and blue marbles, but that was not what was actually needed for the puzzle. So, we have our pouch, and we have a whole bunch of marbles. You saw from the diagram exactly what colors we need to send Joey, so I'm going to skip right ahead to the next thing. Look at that nice empty pouch. You sure could put some stuff in that pouch. You put a red marble in the pouch. And you can try putting another one in there. You add a blue marble to the pouch. Get pouch. Wait, were those the right marble colors? On second thought, doesn't feel right. Didn't you have a secret diagram prominently displayed somewhere to help you out with this exact problem? So... It doesn't even really let you try to send the wrong marbles over. We need a red and a green. Get pouch. You take the pouch with red and green marbles. All right. Oh, there's some extra batteries, just in case we need them. So how are we going to get these marbles to poor Joey? Well, rather easily, actually. Okay, so. All right, let's send them over. Oh no! Oh no! Oh! Ah! Oh no! 
Sorry for hold up unbelievable tragic disaster. Over. Did you lose something else? Must soldier on making second attempt now. Over. Uh, alright. Are you sure you're... Over. <laughs> over and out, Frohoik. Oh. So, we need to prepare another pouch. You take another pouch from the drawer and load it with another red marble and another green marble. Okay, so it just saves you that trouble from that point on. All right, uh, attempt number two. Number two. Yeah, you can do it. You can do it. Just be careful. You can. Oh. Yeah. Um. Are you all right? Betrayal. Over. Abandonment. Over. The lowest, vilest cowardice! Over. Um, well? Can't even communicate true degree of outrage! Over. Likely to jeopardize mission if emotion not suppressed! Over. Uh. Incoming! Over and out. He looks genuinely sad. Your hands are definitely not shaking as you pluck two more marbles from their safe, cozy compartments in the drawer and drop them into the depths of the pouch's waiting leathery maw. Alright. Please? You can do it! Woo! It's arrived! Hooray! Success! Jason Crow Byers, my boy! So brave, so true, so great! Over. Are you actually just point blank losing your mind right now? It would maybe be kind of a relief after years of build up, but you could have picked a better night for it. Mission accomplished! Byers, champion of champions, waiting for you in kitchen! Over. Why? Uh huh? Over? Oh, Byers has marbles required to uh, to acquire key. Over. All right, I guess that sort of makes sense. New development: Byers being menaced. Please hurry. Over. What? Okay. Uh, I I'm on it. Hurry, please, Joey. He's all I have left. Over and out. All right. Looks like we need to go and uh, help Birdie Boo. Okay. Oh, dear. Oh, that's a monster. So. There's actually a funny story to this. I'm going to poke around at our environment first. Got magic spice mix! Let's see. Well, first we're going to have to draw its attention away from the bird. Best way to do that? Hey, over here! Nothing do- oh, because its back is facing to us. Okay, well... Pardon me, boy! Can you give me a shine? Uh, no, the bird is distracting him. Oh, come here, you. Thrill him with daylight! Distraction! And... Spice to meet you! Mixed success! Okay. Joey, thank you for tactically brilliant seasonings murder. One of the best lines. Byers has payload. Repeat, Byers has payload. Over. Thanks. Um, do you know how I might get him down? He seems pretty terrified. Negative. Byer simply has unfortunate mercenary streak. Should respond to enticement over. How do you bribe a pigeon? Sounds like a setup for a riddle or perhaps a joke over. Bye, Jude. Over and out. Okay. All right. Okay. It looks like all that fracas with the monster got him pretty shook up. You might have to find something in here in the kitchen you can dent him with. 
Befriend? As you do not have flight capability, the pigeon remains out of reach. Maybe he needs enticing? What do pigeons like? Well, clearly pigeons like ballet. Hmm, huh, no response. Either that or he is completely enraptured by your elegance and grace. You prefer to believe the latter, but that doesn't really solve your problem. You need to tempt this little fellow with something bad. Something like garbage, but food. Hmm. Uh, well. Let's check this cabinet here. Yes, I do know where how to solve these puzzles. I'm saving you guys all a bunch of time. I love her face. Yes, the glorious, horrible cracker. All you can read from this meager cabinet is the stalest, tiniest, worst cracker. Oh. And the clothes again. This fax machine can be used to send facsimiles of whatever you stick inside it to whomever also has a fax machine. It's also very high-tech. See, so you could keep poking around at the rest of the kitchen, but at this point we've already established there isn't... You're not even sure what why the trash is piled next to the fridge. Even animals know better than to let their food fraternize with their waste. Yeah. So, the only thing that we have, I and mean, we can try the, the treats... Oddly enough, you aren't sure that these are safe for birds. After the violent strangle to death of that monster, you're a little nervous about just feeding things to other things at random. Maybe there's something safer out here, like bread? Bread-like, at least. So yes, the cracker is the solution to this puzzle. Like I said, I'm saving you the time that it took me to actually figure out where to look for things and how to actually apply it, but yes, let's entice the pigeon with a cracker. Success! This little fellow, Byers, you think? Yes, you're pretty sure this is Byers. Gobbles down the stale cracker as you tuck him into your pocket. He's got a little parcel around his neck, which you're fine with letting him hold on to until you actually figure out what you're supposed to do with it. Okay, and we've got a message. Okay, got the marbles. Do you want me to send the pigeon back? No! Over. Okay. Sorry, didn't mean to shout, just worried. Please protect Byers. His chances of surviving a return trip very remote. Over. Oh, yeah, good point. Seems pretty dicey out there. Affirmative. Over. I'll just use these marbles, or whatever then. I'll let you know how it goes. Affirmative, good luck, sis. Over and out. And Byers is actually going to be just fine in your inventory for some reason. I'm going to cuddle him. This is Byers. Apparently he was a little satchel around his neck. Jude says there's some marbles in there, so you guess that will come in handy somehow until the situation presents itself. You're content to let Byers handles, handle marbles duty. All right. So. All right. We have the marbles. Let's see if we can't lose them again. But, um, psh. Okay. So, as we could even have seen from the, dia the uh, diagram in Jude's treehouse, we need to put the marbles in the eyes here. You carefully remove the marble pouch from around his neck and, believe it or not, shove the marbles into the empty eye sockets. You discard the pouch. What an evening it's been. Hmm. Your pa's love of globes knows no bounds, but you don't recognize any of the contents on this one. Alright, let's uh, spin things. Ah. Okay. You did it! The attic key has been found! Alright. You got what you assume to be the attic key. And we are being contacted by our brother, but you know what? I'm going to cut the video here for this installment of Let's Play Hive Swap. We will talk with our brother and probably proceed to the safety of the attic on the next installment. Hope to see you then!